Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic today. I'm Shannon. This is Apex Tarot, a pure spirit. And uh, if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. Today is September the 23rd, 2019. It literally breaks down to the 26th, which is an 8, right? So the strength, the 23rd makes a uh, 23 makes a 5, which is the Hierophant, and I want everybody, I'm not going to go into all the dates and stuff like that, because I just did a 4 minute video on every single thing that is powerful today for today's date, and I will put that uh, eventually down below, um, but if you're watching this, or it should be uploaded, absolutely will be uploaded by the time this one's uploaded, but it'll be down below, so go watch that, it's powerful, what Spirit showed me today. So with that said, since I'm not going to go into all that, let's just go ahead and get focused here and see what the Spirit wants to tell us about uh, you and I. Let me move these out of the way. Thank you, sweet divine, for the viewer, for the soul group, for the uh, this day, for the collective. What do we need to know today? What is the most important message today with all this energy that you've showed me that is available to us? What do we need to understand? What's what's the wisdom of the matter? Go before us, prepare us, tell us of things before they happen so that we can bypass or so that we can continue and grow within. I take authority and I bind and block all negative forces right here, right now. And I just speak a blessing. What do we need to know? What do we need to understand? What's the message today? And y'all just bear with me. I'm still trying to wake up. My brain's trying to kick in. <laughs> So I have a couple of moments where I'm just like, uh. So we got the judgment coming out. It's high arcana. Uh, reflection, second chances. This is a card of past life stuff, right? Which is generational things. Or people returning from past um, issues and things like that. Or you just dealing with them because it's Pluto. It deals with uh, our psychology. How we were raised. How we believe. what You know, how we... Uh, act in our everyday world because of the way we think, right? Because it's about reflection. Um, but the trumpet's being blown today on some things. And uh, this represents, this card represents health improvements, you know, obviously making decisions about things. Some of you all may be, you know, making health decisions today with your doctors and stuff like that. It's also about rejuvenation, people feeling better, you know, um, a change of some type of a position because something's coming down from the ground up. Up, right so that things can be seen and looked at and have this will also represents awakening rejuvenation of any kind uh, so you're gonna make some you know second chance have some second chances today which that's beautiful so since that popped out I'm gonna go ahead I feel let's just go ahead and cut the deck here we thank you sweet divine you know where every card is going to be placed this morning for the highest good of all what's the message so we have the Four of Cups. Like I said, you know, this Four of Cups, I love it because something's being seen right out of heaven, whatever that cup means for you. That's emotional. Uh, some of you, that's just a love of a lifetime that the Spirit is putting together for you. Some of you have been disgusted and just contemplating things about your emotions and past issues and stuff like that, right? And not interested anymore because you've had an awakening. To look, this is about an awakening here. And uh, not really caring about low-level energies and emotions anymore and things that are just going to come and gnaw at you, right? And uh, if we're looking at that, you know, uh, rat there in a negative sense, because we have positive and negative all day long, negative all day long, right? And but these things don't matter anymore. You're looking at the heavens, giving a drink, hearing that blast of the, you know, that trumpet there, that horn's being blown. Uh, we've got very quickly. Uh, this is movement. This is, you know, uh, we've got a lot of water coming out here. Now we've got fire coming out here. This is, you know, action, adventure. You know, again, not interested in lower energy. This card can represent in and out energy, being player, right? But when the trumpet goes off, uh, you, you know, you and I have to take a look at what the heavens are bringing quit you know get into this in and out in and out energy now in the positive this is the man on the horse this is Jupiter energy right this is movement like I said this is journeying and traveling and yesterday we got that ship and it was saying that some of you merchants out there to expect good stuff because Jupiter energy is about luck okay this is about truth 
This is about uh, departure, right? Uh, being friendly, uh, making sure we're not impulsive. Um, need to check details when this card comes out. Could be dealing with, you know, maybe maybe you're an older person. You have uh, people that you're dealing with between the ages of 25 and 35, or maybe you're that age, right? And we got the sun. Beautiful. And the sun right now is in Libra. Happy birthday to you, Libras. It's justice time, right? And uh, if this is Sagittarian energy, which is Jupiter energy. Again, we've got justice right there as well. And go watch today's date, and you'll understand why Jupiter keeps coming out in all different kinds of ways as well. This is happiness. This is family. This is children. This is romance, front stage stuff, right? And because the sun right now is in Libra, it's, again, it's the yin and the yang. It's being mutual. It's having clarity. It's court. It's law. It's righteousness, right? It's like, boom. I talked about the sun yesterday. It's a force overthrow this is the enforceable the Trump is blowing from the heavens and forcing things to come up out of the ground forcing people to look up oh my gosh here it is no more playing around right it's movement time right it, it's time to get balanced it, it really is time to get balanced and all those things time to feel um, your vitality all over again that's joyful energy that's a lot of beautiful energy coming out here guys that's positive positive let's see what else is happening here what's happened with this energy yes it's positive the nine of cups y'all absolutely beautiful that satisfying energy right a lot of, a lot of water coming up here today uh, emotional stability you know this is the wish card achievement fulfillment victory liberty right well we do have liberty when we're coming out of dead like things that have just laid dormant in the heavens say okay I'm gonna come in and blast something for you where it's forcible overthrow right uh, please go watch that video that I did yesterday. Um, I'll put it down below. I don't remember what I named it, but um, it was about the sun and what it's doing and what the, the, the hour that we're la literally living in right now. In our now position, beautiful. Now, this we're getting we're getting nights out here today and feeling young again right with the sun energy and coming up out of that grave and feeling all that good energy this is beautiful this is again this um, card can represent the law right and uh, we're talking Scorpio energy private investigative stuff um, but this is positive look you know things under cover <laughs> these uh, these uh, Knights are covered up, right? I love these pictures in this deck here. This is romantic, though, and idealistic. And this is something right out of heaven because we see it in that picture of the four cups there, right? Uh, maybe some people have been ignoring, but now they're not. You can't ignore when the trumpet blows, right? So right here, we're in this state of invention and excitement. And be, we should be a fair person. That's what this card represents, somebody who's a fair person. It's uh, somebody who represents being uh, responsible and somebody who's going to follow their heart. And uh, this also represents being artistic and having some type of work developments happen, right? Proposals and stuff like that. Very romantic card. Very watery. Beautiful. Like I said, things from the past uh, coming back around here. Wow. Just in these two cards, we have 13 we have 13 um, cups, and then adding the other one is 14. That's about balancing. We've got uh, the ninth house showing right here. That is about balancing, right? And so is where the sun's at with Libra. It's about balancing. When we're talking Scorpio, like I always say, you got to look for things under, under the surface, right? And bring it up to the top so that we can really understand what's happening here. What's crossing this? Yes, well, this is over. Uh, what's crossing this is getting, you know, to a place where we can forgive ourselves, we can forgive others, the battle's over. Maybe some people are still wanting to fight or whatever. This is, you know, people getting in arguments and having that unbridled ambition. We're talking about being unbridled, and we've got horses coming here, right? And uh, we, we've got to have, we've got to have the reins on things, right? The reins on our mind. Uh, the reins on our emotions. This is, you know, not good energy. This is, uh, this is, this, the war's over. And what's crossing us is the things that have happened here. The truth is up. The sword is up, right? 
and what's challenging is facing this kind of stuff because this stuff should have never happened in the first place but it did and it's over and we face it we face it we don't have choice to face it it's right in our face the sun is like glaring in our face and once we do it's really a good thing because we get to celebrate right we get to celebrate Five is about a change. We already seen that. There is a change here, big time. In the past, uh, we've got the nine of wands. We, well, we already know that. We've had to fight because this came out. <laughs> now we're facing it, right? We literally are facing something that the heavens made us look at. Facing it. Boom. So we know that we've had to push through some things, hard things that brought us to our knees. And, uh, you know, we've just had to take courage and had, have had to have strength and determination to get through those obstacles, passions, things that, you know, we got burned on. That's fire, right? And now we're moving quickly right on into the sun to balance things out. What just happened? The Queen of Pentacles. I love it. I love the Queen of Pentacles. Like I said the other day, she is not prideful. There is that peacock. She does not have to go, hey, look at me. She's stable in what she is. This is somebody in high ranking position, right? You and I. Uh, or you could have been dealing with mother figures, or uh, this is you, or this is a boss figure, or whatever this is. It's just uh, an energy of being grounded, stable, being noble, again, right? Um, this is caring energy, financially secure. Maybe somebody just made a decision to do something financially for someone. Be real practical with it. Be pleasant. Be generous, right? Be business-minded now. Right, because there's a change. Something's changing here. Putting the peacock feathers down and, and really growing up. And get it in your kingship. And uh, look, she's pointing this way. She's pointing that way. And so is the knight. Beautiful. This is being very humbling. Could be having mother ch and children, you know, like I said, older people, uh, dealing with younger people, or just feeling young again, yet grounded. We can look at these cards so many different ways. But this is about balancing out the skills and uh, financially, the body, anything in this realm. What's at the top? Messages, Cupid's arrows. But these are straight from heaven. We know that because of the pictures that are shown here. This is, you know, we got love and romance with the sun. We've got, you know, feeling uh, really passionate here with the Knight of Wands. And, uh, you know, travel. And seeing the love cup right out of heaven. And second chances because the, the Spirit has given us all second chances. To fall in love with the Spirit of the Creator first. And then bringing it right down here in this realm. This is this is movement, fast moving, travel, speed, passion. You know the, those cupid arrows that just the, here they come. They're coming right out of heaven, right? This is excitement. This is beautiful. This is quick changes today. Quick, just like that. Ba 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 ba. Boom, just like that. Oh my gosh, what is this that I'm seeing from the heavens here? This quick, 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 quick. Right? Balancing skills that quick. Beautiful. Eight is personal power today. This is personal power. Right? Love it. What's the outcome? The king of wands. So we got a king and a queen on the same row. Also got a knight here. So, and, and these are court cards. Right? This is the law. And this is balancing out the scales and taking action on it. He's looking right on over at this stuff, right? And if this is a love situation and somebody's competition for somebody, because this also can, you know, this is winning at all costs, whatever that is. But it's still a five. It's not the five of wands, but still is a five and could represent that there had been some type that somebody thought there's competition somewhere maybe uh, in some situations, but this the truth is out about some things, right? Uh, this, this law-like stuff and marriages and uh, whatever this is, this is what's crossing, and he's looking on over. 
maybe there's two decisions, maybe somebody's already made the decision, the war's over, or whatever that is, within financial issues, passionate issues, emotional issues, creative projects, whatever that is for you. There's a wish fulfillment. Somebody's getting their wish fulfillment, or already did, because it's coming right out of heaven. I mean, how, how much more of a fulfillment can you get from the heavens? I, I mean, that is a wish fulfillment, right? The king of wands, very much passionate, and if he is in the upright, he will take action, and he's very business-minded. He's a master. He's in authority. He's control. He's leadership. He's high-ranking. Can be very aggressive, but he's very charming, Right, very sexy energy here. Is an overcoming energy here. Enjoys challenges. Right, very energetic. It's fire. Beautiful. And it's looking right on over at the cup of love. Right. What just happened? If this if this queen is is what's if this queen is this knight and just humbling the self and offering something second chances was the first card so if this is something from the past somebody's trying to get grounded or just did get grounded and wanting to put that cup up right because things have been under wrap and maybe they haven't been able to say anything cool because they've been held down going through things themselves, right but now they see this big old cup out of, out of heaven and what's helpful is to put the sword up of truth and quit fighting in the mind about it humbling the self and going toward this passion because these two energies are, you know, facing the, the, the position of their bodies are facing one another. Whether it's male or female, I don't care what it is. What They're, they're both facing this energy here. Right? Needing needing to well but we, we see by this picture it's over something's over if they were fighting in the past it's over there's a love cup here coming from the queen of pentacles to the king of wands and he's he sees it that's beautiful energy guys coming out the sun's here it's bright it's beautiful I mean, this is the overall energy and somebody sees the cup today somebody's gonna see the cup look he's got his cup up as well to celebrate it's a celebration now if this is business and these are employees and things like that something's over a judgment has been made straight out of heaven quick movement two big quick movement energies where there was a, a lot of uh having to push through a lot of things passionately right and like i said if this was home issues and things like that somebody got really really grounded and put the pride down because this represents pride Right, people fighting without all costs and and don't care what the other people feel like. And like I said, the peacock here, the feathers are down. Somebody's. What's helpful is the truth, and what's helpful is getting out of the mind of this because we see that it's over. It's a forcible overthrow today. Wow, amazing! This is this is very very positive energy coming out here. Look what's that? This is over. We know that because judgment has already been made. This is a judgment. This has been overthrown. Whatever the guilt was, whatever the strategies of, of negative fighting energies, because this is a seven. This is a secret. Seven is a secret of truth, right? And this will make 12, which will break down to a three. The empress and the emperor ain't going to have it. <laughs> There's judgment being made. It's a forcible overthrow of something. Something's moving quickly something right out of the heavens if there's celebration happening here from this kind of stuff no more no more lies no more deception no more unfairness no more slander babbling no more hiding things no more trickery no more strat um, strategizing with negative tactics and stuff like that and and being deceptive no more the sun's out to balance the scales this is over it's absolutely over time to face the Time to face it. Bum, 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 bum. Right. I love it. This is this is positive for everybody. It's positive, even though people are crying over things. It should never happen, but it's over because truth sets everyone free. 
it washes us clean by this water, all this water coming out today. Water energy, water energy, water energy. It's nice energy showing itself here, right? And with the sun, balancing the scales, getting people grounded within passions, within their mind. That's beautiful energy, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Um, this is the first reading. Stay tuned for the 24-hour rune reading and the second daily reading. And uh, check out any other videos that I may upload throughout the day. Shalom, y'all.